We live in a moment where we do what we have to do for the people that we love. The old rules just don't apply. This was a quote from the series Colony, the character Katie Bowman, played by the actress Sarah Wayne Calles. It was a very prescient quote, because what's coming in 2022 is going to change the rules. It's already beginning to happen, I think a lot of people are seeing it. Now in the coming week, I'm going to be putting up a video over at Patreon that's a little bit more of a deep dive into this, and it's also going to, of course, be gloves off, perhaps a little bit more R-rated if you'd like to see that and hear the real truth, the unvarnished truth, join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. It's only $1 per month. If it could be set lower, I would set it lower. It's the idea of walls working. This is just a digital paywall. I'm sure a lot of you would agree with the idea that walls work. And it's going to be something we're going to have to take advantage of. This partnership I have with Vimeo right now is worth its weight in gold, and I thank everyone who has stepped up and showed up over at Patreon, and believe me, down in the comment section, they'll tell you, the videos are gloves off, and the total, complete, uncensored truth. Now, I'm sure most of you remember the series Colony. It was back in 2016, 17, something like that. Of course, the basic plot, aliens come to Earth, they drop these huge walls, they control the population, and what they're really trying to do is exterminate everyone because they need the resources. However, people are forced to do things they don't want to do. They're forced to live by a different set of rules. There's an article out now regarding Antarctica that should wake everyone up about this. They found something down there. And the elites and the wealthy are flocking down there. It's going to be their colony. You see, in the series, they talk about the colony on the moon. That was just a plot device. The real colony is going to be Antarctica, and it's not going to be a prison planet. It's going to be the place where freedom is going to be recognized. Liberty is going to be honored. You see, this character, Katie Bowman's sister, was forced to join a cult and end up in bed with somebody that could provide insulin for her sick son. See, a lot of people would have judged this character. In fact, that was part of the plot. But in reality, this is going to be the case. They also had in the series, and this is the real point I need to get to, the greatest day. There was this cult that said the greatest day was coming, and they tried to indoctrinate and inculcate the children first into this new cultic-like religion. While the wealthy and the elitists were well taken care of, the vast majority of the populace was barely getting by. Sound familiar? This is what awaits these folks on the runway in Antarctica. Chilled champagne, kind of redundant if you ask me. Snacks, nice bar. And here are the itineraries for the pioneering traveler to the White Desert. South Pole and Emperors. Five nights, early emperors. But oh, what is this? The greatest day. That's right. They have a tour package in Antarctica that you can purchase, whitedesert.com, called The Greatest Day. They also have one called Virgin Summit. And Owner's Club. I didn't think anybody could own anything in Antarctica. Adventures at Wolf's Fang. This is real. You see, it says, skip the Drake Passage, What's it like flying to Antarctica on a chartered plane? You think, wow, you can charter a plane there? You see, not just any plane. Gazing down at the Drake Passage on Friday from a chartered BAE 146-200, I could hardly make out the ripples of the wa Wait a minute. Back up. This aircraft, 
This is a British military aircraft that's been repainted. Don't think so? Here's the same aircraft. This is a British military aircraft that has been repainted. They're setting up colonies. This is an actual picture from the surface of Antarctica. And wait till I show you on Google Earth Pro what's around where they're at. They found something. This is the common area. This is where they take their meals. This is the bar. This is, of course, the lounge area. Yes, this is Antarctica. This is what's waiting them in Antarctica. This is what their rooms look like. This is what their meals look like. Does this look like survivalism? Does this look like people that are struggling to uh, brave the elements? This is the runway. And here's another completely different aircraft. Learjet. On the ice. You see, they found something. And they've been talking about it quietly for a long time. And they've been hedging around about it. Unimaginable diversity of life discovered beneath Antarctic ice shelf. Scientists find unexpected trove of life forms beneath Antarctic ice shelf. Now, where are they? Well, let's zoom out here. These are the coordinates they give, generally speaking, and they're super general. I'll zoom way out here so you can get an idea of how far in they are. Here's South America. Um, if you come around this direction, I guess it'd be around the, what, eastern side? They've decided to park this camp right near this ridge. And this ridge right here is actually very familiar to me because I've looked at it before. And there are some very strange finds nearby. Not the least of which is this. what looks very much like a TR-3B submerged underneath the ice right here. Measurements have this at about 250 feet long and about 150 feet wide, just ballparking. But it gets better. It gets even better because here's what's going to happen. One of these, and it takes a lot of money, by the way, to charter one of these flights, one of these rich guys, they're going to go poking around on one of these adventures off into the mountains. And they're going to find something. And they're going to begin their own collections. And this is going to be the basis of the new golden age. The new gold rush, so to speak. It's not going to be gold itself. They're going after it. It's going to be historical artifacts. Now this entire region right here near where they're at. Here's one open water glacial lake. And there is another one over here. So there's standing bodies of water all around this. But when you look at all of the structure in this nearby mountain range, you can see they found an ancient settlement that's near enough to the surface to begin excavation and to begin exploration. This is what they're going for. These are walls. These are all walls. As you can see, the ice has melted below the level and has left behind traces of what looks like a small city, a small settlement at the base of this mountain. The evidence is everywhere of this. And finally, the wealthy, the elitists, the Rothschild types, have begun colonizing. And that's really no different than what happened when they discovered the New World North America back in the 1500s. It took a great deal of money, a great deal of wherewithal and logistics and effort to send ships across the Atlantic. That's why, in the very beginning, it was the king and queen of Spain, the kings of France and of England, 
they were the only ones who had the gold and the ability to put together the crews and build the ships independently. It was only the, the most wealthy that had the ability to do this. And that's exactly what's happening now. And it's why they're going down here. They're not going down here to go spelunking for the sake of it, to say they did. They're looking for something. Things that would leave behind a legacy for them that would last forever, really. Because what would be, once you've achieved billionaire status, what would be the last thing you would want to do? You would want to do something nobody else has done. Discover evidence of life and civilization in Antarctica? That sounds like a bucket list thing for a billionaire to me, doesn't it to you? There's absolutely nothing bad about thinking for yourself. This is another quote from Colony, because this is what was going on in the series. And we've literally just lived through the first two years of it. It's almost as if somebody came from the future back only about five years and put it all together. Another quote, the way to control a democratic society isn't through fear. It's through distraction. All of these images are quotes from that series. It's spooky how close they got to it. And I guess this will be the last thing that I leave with. In the next year, perhaps two, people are going to have to make decisions that aren't popular. That they're going to have to make. They're going to be forced into those decisions. And sometimes it may lead them to do things that other people in their lives don't approve of. Learn to forgive each other. Learn to understand and learn to listen. That's another message in this series. Because in order to stay together, in order to keep things together, people have to learn to talk to each other and to listen to each other and most importantly, to forgive each other. Because it's going to get ugly. So, once again, if you have any questions, join us over at Twitch in the evenings. It's not every single evening I'm there, but it is most evenings. And we do have this game going on in the background, and it's kind of, like I said, Lords of Ring, Lord of the Rings-ish. It's nothing special, but the idea is the conversation. So, would love to see you there. Uh, Twitch, just like it sounds, twitch.tv forward slash Florida Maquis. Also, once again, thank you to everyone who's joined us over Patreon. That's where the real deal is going to be. There's going to be a much deeper dive into this coming this week because it's going to change everything. Mark my words. A lot of people are probably already scratching their heads. Antarctic Treaty, Antarctic Treaty. Not going to matter. It's not going to matter. It's going to be about the money. It's going to be about the legacy. It's going to be about what can be achieved. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Have a happy Sunday evening, and we will see you guys next time.